Watch the whole video for detailed steps, but the quick version is connect your hub to your modem. Then plug in the power and turn it on. Wait three minutes and connect to the Wi-Fi. But let's go through that again in more detail, just to be sure. You can also check the description below for links to more info. Whether you have an EE Smart Hub or a Smart Hub Plus, setting them up is the same process. First, locate your engineer installed OpenReach modem. There are different types, but they're usually a white box labeled OpenReach and they all work the same way. Check the modem is plugged in and switched on. Next, take the Ethernet cable with red ends and plug it into the port labelled Port 1 or LAN 1 on your modem. Then, plug the other end into the port labelled WAN on the back of your hub. Next, you'll need to power everything up. If your hub's power supply comes in two parts, slide them together until they click into place. Connect the power cable to the port labelled power on the back of your hub. Plug the other end into the wall and switch it on. Then, press the power button on the back of your hub. The light on the front of your hub will turn solid green while it sets itself up. After at least three minutes, the light should turn solid blue or aqua, letting you know your smart hub is ready and you can get connected to the Wi-Fi. If the light turns any other colour, there's been a slight hiccup somewhere, but not to worry. You can go to the help section in the EE app or view our help page to find the cause. To connect your phone, laptop or any other smart device to your Wi-Fi, just use your hub's network name and password found on the settings card. This will either be on the side of your smart hub or on the back, depending on which hub model you have. Or you can scan the QR code to connect even quicker. Go on, save yourself some typing. And that's it. Now you can stream movies in 4K, jump on a video call and game like a pro, all at the same time, because that's just a fraction of what your connection can handle. All good? Good. If not, try our EE app for support or our broadband troubleshooter. Links in the description below. We're always here to help.